Welcome to Biz Tech TV. We are at the Luris 2016, We've just stepped out of the NNASA forum. And with me, I've got Doug Place, who is the Chief Marketing Officer for Nando. Doug, welcome to Biz Tech Arts. Wow, thanks for having me. Good to be here. No problem. So, to start out, obviously, first eight months in as CMO for Nando South yeah. Africa. How's the first eight months been? Yeah, it's great. I'm still employed. That's a good thing. Uh, I mean, Nando's is kind of, you know, working at Nando's marketing is kind of like winning the Marketing World Cup. Uh, so it's a really, really challenging brand to work on. It's a challenging time to do marketing in South Africa in general. Um, but to be part of a brand which is, you have a proud heritage of being brave and being courageous and firing things up. Not just the advertising, and the whole product, the whole Nando's experience. That has been incredibly stimulating. So it's been exhausting, but it's been lots of fun. I'm really, really proud and intimidated to be standing on the shoulders of giants like the ones of Nando's. And then obviously you were one of the keynote speakers today at the NMA Forum. What was your presentation all about? Yeah, it's really good to come and talk in a digital context where I'm not really a digital guy. Um, and typically there are lots of stories and narratives told about digital. And the stories follow a fairly predictable pattern, which is you know, digital is big, it's growing, it's important, especially the young people, and that if it's the young people is important to you and big is important to you, then you need to have your brand on digital. This is of course uh, an anathema. This is true of any kind of media channel which is big and growing. Uh, the challenge is often is a misrepresentation or misunderstanding between media and marketing. So you hear things like, well, digital is the future of the future of consumer brands. That's nonsense. Marketing is the future of consumer brands and it's always been the, the future. The fact that it now takes place more prevalently on digital uh, is a media conversation and not a marketing conversation. Marketing is the race car, media is the race track. So it was good to, I suppose, really bust a couple of myths that it's not just a case of, well, if you do more digital media stuff, you'll have more brand success. What brands you know, have always been tasked with is fundamentally the art of persuasion, which is an art and it's a science. Uh, and it's the, it's the science of understanding where consumers are, where your brand is in relation to them, and, and then the imagination, the creativity required to, well, where could the brand be in relation to these consumers, and crossing that divide with a big creative idea, which may take place on a digital platform and probably increasing will do so, uh, but great marketing uh, isn't really much to do with digital. In the same way, you know, a great digital campaign, there's no such thing as a great digital campaign, there's a great marketing campaign which takes place on digital. And great media is never going to fix a bad marketing problem. I think we I hear that a lot and a lot in marketing contexts here. You see a lot in keynote presentations that people talk about the future is media. It's not the future is marketing and a message which may take place in the media. So we spoke a little bit about that. Uh, we had some controversial chats around millennials. Are they a real thing? Do they really exist? Uh, what does millennials mean in terms of brands, digital and marketing? Uh, which I think yeah, hopefully got a few more. a few thought starters going. Millennials, by and large, from the data I've seen, and not just people, but people like the Harvard Business Review, Marketing Week, and like uh, millennials are young people, and young people have been young people for eons. Uh, and there's slightly new nuances and expressions for young people, uh, but fundamentally the challenges we have with millennials are not that different to the challenges we have with Generation X and Y and Z and baby boomers. So, we spoke a little bit about that as well. We of course showed some Nando's adverts and we spoke about well, how does this Nando's advert you know, have the context of the consumer, the digital environment, and fundamentally sell more product and build it you know, more brand love. And that was, we did in about 20 minutes, so I suppose it was like a TED style talk, and uh, it was good to get the feedback. And it all came out, and you, you spoke, your presentation has tweets, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I think being in a corporate dude and writing lots of desks, you see a lot of PowerPoint. Most PowerPoint have lots of words and pictures and graphs, those are all really good things. Uh, but the real art of good marketing is often simplicity, so I wanted to have a, you know, as simple a presentation as possible, and what better way at a digital marketing conference than to tweet a presentation. The last thing I want to chat to you about, you mentioned simplicity. To me, one of the um, one of Fernando's perfect deliverables is the, the one page ads. Yeah. Kind of so, so, talk, talk me through so that well, sign off process, because to me that's the most important just kind of thing around it is how quick you guys get that out, how quick you are starting to Who signs is first up? Um, well, I do, I suppose, uh, but I'm by no means the architect of it. It's a process which is evolving because the landscape in which marketing is taking place is evolving. Um, you know, marketing takes place in a real time, so consumers behave in real time. So, Nano's, you know, historically would have these one page ads in, in, in newspapers, because that was kind of one of the more engaging formats. It's still an incredibly engaging format, and we still do that. 
Um, now, the more immediate environments, like specifically to identify the Facebook as well, uh, provide the context for that to take place. And often the consumers are waiting for us to, to say something. So it's not a case of us generating content and trying to push it in front of as many people as possible because we've created the habit. Uh, we often get consumers saying, Look, what are your opinion about the Olympics? What's your opinion around local government elections? Uh, and because we are a brand which you know, represents the voice of the people, and we represent you know, commonly held beliefs, often people assume that we are a controversial brand. We like to love controversy. And I think that's not true. Controversy implies that there's disagreement, that there's, there's, a, there's a beef, there's, uh, there's something that's contrary to popular belief. That's what controversy is. Uh, we're not that at all. And the reason that our content is shared and enjoyed and laughed at is because we're voicing an opinion which is already in it. So we're not anti-government. We are anti-things that when government behaves you know, inappropriately, uh, but everyone believes that. So that's not a controversial point. Uh, and if we can link that into a brand truth, as we often do, then that creates you know, exciting marketing in real time. So a lot of the ideas are bandied around uh, by a WhatsApp group or a Slack channel or our email. Uh, it is democratized, there's no hierarchy, so it's not a case of uh, someone has an idea, put it in the channel, goes up the pipe, gets approved, then is produced, and then goes back for approval, and then is published. Uh, but it's a case of, here is an idea which we'd like to share, it's as simple as we can possibly make it. Is it slick? Is it smart? Is it South African? Uh, is it funny? Is there a product truth we can bring across in the message? Off we go. There is no corporate bottle. Uh, no, no, not look. Eight months in, um, and you can see the things we haven't published. <laughs> the, the cutting room floor is, is filled with things which are you know, awesome, but not quite, not quite there. Yeah. But it's a, it's a good time, so watch the space and please check it out at Nando's SA. Cool, thank you so much for joining us. We'll keep an eye on Nando's. Yeah. What a pleasure, thank you guys.